What's up guys, John here, and today we're going to talk about Super Robot Ties and OG Endless Frontier on the DS and why I think it's the greatest RPG on the system. Guys, remember to subscribe to my channel, and if you like what you see, please like and share my videos. You guys really help this channel grow. I can't see shit! I can't see shit! Oh my god! So, what is Super Robot Tizen OG Saga Endless Frontier? Really, it's a turn-based, timing-based, retro-style RPG. Um, a similar project to this one would probably be Cosmic Star Heroin. Uh, so, if you guys are huge fans of Cosmic Star Heroin, you probably want to track down this game. A lot of similar games that kind of, I think, were inspired or that inspired this game uh, would probably be games like uh, Chrono Trigger, and Breath of Fire. Those are both on the Super Nintendo. So, what is this game about? Well, basically, in essence, you're a guy, your name is uh, Haken Browning. Uh, you're a bounty hunter. Uh, you come off as a bad boy badass, but really you're a good guy, you got a good heart, and you try to help and save everybody, and you try to help and save the world, most importantly. Now, as you go through this game, um, I don't want to say anything to kind of spoil the game or give you guys any kind of teasers or anything like that, but you're going to meet a huge cast of supporting characters. Uh, most of these characters have names that I cannot pronounce, so I will not even try. But all the female characters in this game have very exaggerated features for the most part, and you guys will see what I'm talking about once you play this game. Now, one interesting thing to note, and I actually did realize this, I didn't just read it online, is that one of the characters, her name's Cosmos, she's a robot, and she actually is from the Xenosaga series on the PlayStation 2. So, just pointing that out. Now, since this game is inspired by older RPGs of the 90s, you know, from the 16-bit era, um, it has a lot of the aspects of RPGs from that era that I love. Uh, one, for example, would be the huge overworld map of the 2D sprites that kind of travel around and allow you to explore all these vast areas. I love that. Um, you know, it, it, it kind of gives a game a break if it's too linear to kind of scout around, go on some side quests, or just kind of explore the area itself. Um, now, I think the very most important and impressive thing about this game, you know, other than the exploration and other than the awesome storyline, would probably be the battle system. Now, as I said, this is a turn-based, timing-based battle system. And what I mean by that is when it's your turn with your character, Pretty much you have to keep that, you have to juggle your enemies. You have to keep that enemy in the air and that's how it becomes timing based. Um, you swap your characters, you know, in and out. You use all your attacks, you keep your enemies juggled and then it's the enemy's turn. So it still remains turn based, but it is timing based as well. Now, pretty interesting thing to note that the Super Robot Ties and OG Endless Frontier game actually maintain the same battle system through the Project Cross Zone games, um, who were actually, I believe, both developed by Monolith Soft, just like the Super Robot Ties and OG Saga Endless Frontier game. Um, so for anybody that has played the Project Cross Zone games, uh, you know, Project Cross Zone 1 and 2 on the Nintendo 3DS, you're gonna feel right at home with this battle system. Now, when I bought this game a few years ago, it did come with kind of a collector's edition with like a cardboard box around it and a soundtrack, which is really cool. But the thing is now, this game is not a cheap game. I was lucky enough to buy my game a few years ago, so it really it might have cost me 50 bucks. But keep in mind, if you want a complete copy of this game, with the soundtrack, the game, and it didn't have an art book or anything, but it did come in like a like a cardboard box kind of holder. Um, if you want the complete edition, you know, that's probably going to run you anywhere between $80 and $120. Um, you can find the loose carts, like bootlegs of them, or the actual loose carts on eBay for right around, you know, $20 to $40, which is a really good deal. Um, also, you can play this game on an emulator. Um, they do have really, really good Android emulators for the DS. Uh, one which I could think of is Drastic DS. I actually played some of this game to test Drastic DS out, and it's actually playable on that emulator. So, do I recommend Super Robot Ties and OG Saga Endless Frontier? 
fuck yeah, I recommend Super Robot Ties and OG Saga Endless Frontier if you can get it at an affordable price. Now, you're going to have to deal with scalpers sometimes with games like this. That's okay. There's still people that sell it for a reasonable price, guys. If you can find a loose cart from anywhere between $20 and $40, trust me, this game is totally worth your money and totally worth your time. It definitely has my seal of approval. Guys, remember, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Believe me, it really helps this channel grow. Guys, it's a beautiful day out there today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and peace out.